the Vietnamese art market is very booming now. Who is buying Vietnamese modern art? Yeah, who? Who? Who buying? Um, actually, if, well, you you have a lot of Asian uh, collectors, and actually also some uh, European collector. Maybe they're more discreet. Maybe uh, the, um, what we see in the market as Asian people is really crazy on them, uh, pushing the price very high. Uh, but also, you have a lot of European. They are really interested in Vietnamese arts. But who are the Asian? The Asian people from uh, mainly for Vietnamese painting, mainly you have uh, Vietnamese people, of course. But uh, actually, we also expand the market to uh, Taiwanese people and in Philippines and also uh, to uh, Indonesian, Indonesia. Uh, we actually have a record in, uh, in one of the art, Vietnamese uh, artists a few year, two years ago, bought by uh, Philippines, someone from Philippines. Yeah. No one went with that. Who, who was the artist? What name? Uh, Fan Hao. P H A M H A U. Fan Hao. is one of the very uh, famous lacquer art uh, master. And uh, what, are, what are the collector looking for in the Vietnamese art, modern art? What, what do they want? What do they dream about? What's uh, typical? Actually, they also, uh, it's important for them is. Um, there is a, a, a fusion between uh, Asian art and European art. And because uh, Vietnam was a, a, a French colonial, so uh, they, all those uh, tens, this, um, hand tendencies uh, was actually based on the, the, the student uh, come, uh, came out from uh, the Indochine, Indochina school. They uh, have a very, very good French uh, or European uh, painting skills. And then they, they know how to uh, fusion with their tradition and create a new form of art, which actually for European people, European people, also for Asian people, which is a, a kind of a modern, but a, a, new, a new style of uh, art. It's the idea of the burden of the colony. People have no problem with Vietnam art. Vietnamese I, art mixed with French? I think uh, the, 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 that is also, you have to know, that is the North and the South. Um, you can see, for example, in our, our coming cell, the online cell, we have some we call uh, the school uh, of uh, Sai Kung. That was the, after 46, so most, some people with the war, the civil war who start, which start, uh, and then a lot of people move to the South. That, that, uh, student, they, they, they set up school and they still keep that uh, memory with the French, uh, French colony. They still continue to, to develop this kind of uh, French Vietnamese uh, fusion arts. Hmm. So what does it mean? Because uh, I think uh, people to the South, they are more attached to, uh, to French colony, that style of life compared with the North, they are more socialist and then that uh, totally changed the, the art scene. That's why when we nowadays, we always say uh, de Indochina, the, the Indochina Art School, uh, we, we call it, actually this school still uh, exists today. But when we, we name it, we, we always put uh, 25 to 45. Uh, the biggest that was the, the years the French government was there and then uh, after that, that is a thing that is totally different. A lot of artists move to the south. Uh, they continue this style, and then we call our school uh, school of Saigon. But and it means it means the in a way the print of the French colony is accepted yeah. in the art of Vietnam completely. Yes, accepted. Exactly. I think for artists, they have sometimes go beyond uh, just a political. Uh, uh, um, how to say the focus as uh, concept uh, because for the kind of art I think the French people will bring a new breath to, to them uh, because uh, usually for example the lacquer usually used to, to do decorative uh, uh, art and very traditional it's nothing to see with the uh, will or your creative art but the French uh, people, they learn from them, from skill and the school. Ingrid Berti is one of the director. Uh, we encourage the, the student to 
to keep their identity, to 